Yes, my friend, we are moving. And I know that's going to come as quite a shock, especially if you have been following along the last four years as we have worked so hard to build this home ourselves. Now, bear with me. I will be back to share why and where and all the what does you can imagine. <laughs> I will be back to share why, but I do not have the emotional or mental space to put that out there right now. Needless to say, we had our plans and the Lord clearly had different ones for us. So we're rolling with it, feeling very, very blessed and thankful and excited and sad and emotional and all the feels. <laughs> so stick with us, but I definitely wanted to get on here and share with you what's going on um, so that you can follow along and so that I could document this for our family. So maybe as I keep going here, boxing up our house, I will have some packing tips for you, um, a glimpses of everything else that's going on, and just, just to take you along with us. Needless to say, this has been a very overwhelming process um, to pack up a home and a homestead and worry about the animals and the kids and still feeding them. Anyway, it has been overwhelming, and I probably haven't documented as much as I wanted to, but... We're doing the best we can these days, and I'm just excited to bring you along with us since um, what you'll be seeing moving forward is going to be a little bit different. So I hope you're excited to see what's going on, and I have a lot of work to do today. So I'm gonna push up my sleeves and keep packing. We're thankful to my brother-in-law to let us borrow this covered trailer. We're putting all of our stuff in here until it's full. <laughs> And we'll try to move it and refill it, but that's really helpful so it doesn't have to just fill the garage. Oh man, you guys, sorry, I look like an absolute mess, <laughs> but that's to be expected, being sick and trying to pack a house. Um, I wanted to show you these, how I was packing them before Kevin brought them all out, but I didn't, but I wanted to let you know, here was my thinking as far as like all the decor stuff. I started putting them in like, themed boxes so like this has all the wood decor this has like all the glass and breakable stuff i've got ones full of pottery some with just metal some with like vessels and containers so i tried to make them themed for the decor took all of that down in the house and then we'll go room by room that just made sense in my brain since so much of it was just decoration so I wanted to make those themed so that when we put them in the new house, stored them away, I would kind of know which totes to come and pick from when I wanted to start decorating, which might be a while. But that's how I did it. I don't know if that's a helpful tip. <laughs> this looks way messy and organized, unorganized, but there is actually some sort of rhyme, rhythm, method. To this madness. All these totes right here are all my herb things that came out of this one cabinet. Starting to think I have some problems, but overcame a big hurdle today. All these cabinets are empty. I knew that was going to be a big one because it's like most of our storage stuff. So it took a lot of totes and a lot of sorting through, but it's finished and we'll move on to the next room.
dinner still has to get on the table, even when you're moving. I'm sure the time will come that takeout is necessary, but for now, I do have the goal of putting something nourishing on the table at night, hopefully making enough for leftovers so that um, we can eat tomorrow as well. But I'm making my squacho cheese sauce. It's actually my sister's recipe, but it's in our cookbook, Master the Electric Pressure Cooker cookbook. I can share the link with you. But it's a really uh, nutritious squacho or nacho cheese sauce with squash in it. Got some ground beef, guacamole, taco toppings. We'll have nachos, so. Had to get dinner on the table so that we feel good with all this work. Gotta taste test it. This stuff is so good. Cheesy, nutritious. Mmm, so good. Love this chip brand too. Hey babe, what you working on? <laughs> Fixing what the tin guys screwed up in the first place. Uh, you know this has been on your to-do list for four years, right? <laughs> yeah. You have to pick right before we move to actually finish it. No better time than that. <laughs> oh jeez. Well, it will look good, I'm sure, for the new owners. <laughs> The other thing we have going this week, well, this last month, um, we are, <laughs> you guys are gonna think I'm so crazy. We're fixing up an RV to do some adventuring with the family. I wasn't gonna share this for a while, at least until I was done. <laughs> Here she is, Tidbits on Wheels 2.0. So excited to share what we've done inside, a little makeover. But we kind of bought this baby before we realized that this house sale was going to actually um, go through and everything, um, which I know I still need to explain, but just just trust me, guys, <laughs> it will come in due time. But anyway, I uh, am trying to stock the RV with some of our essentials. It's actually going to work out really good to have it because we may be in limbo for a while. So it will be nice to have like somewhere to cook, maybe even sleep in our transition. But the whole plan was to be able to do some adventuring with our kids. My oldest daughter is going to be 18 this year and I'm feeling <laughs> a rush to get some things in that we've always wanted to do. So after we're done adventuring in this RV, um, I want to, or we want to sell it and hopefully make a profit or at least recoup the cost of some of our travel and adventuring. So that's the plan. <laughs> But right now I'm also trying to balance getting this finished, getting it equipped. Um, but I will show you guys maybe a little peek, but you're gonna have to hold off for the full reveal because it's gonna be good. Okay, just a little peek. This floor, right? <laughs> it's all you're gonna see. I cannot wait to share the full reveal. In fact, I can't wait to decorate it. It's all I wanna do, but I have boxes and boxes and boxes to pack, so. I have to go do that. I needed some sheets for the RV since we don't normally have a queen size bed. I didn't have any. So I'm trying out this brand. You guys know I love linen sheets. I've spoiled myself and can't hardly settle with anything else. But I found this brand on Amazon. 
simple and opulent. Is that how you say that? They were really affordable comparative to other linen sheets. Um, I'm gonna wash them up. You always wanna do that with linen. But I think they feel pretty good so far. I have noticed quality difference with linen. Sometimes if they're too thin, they will wear holes pretty quick. But this feels pretty good. And for the price, I think, I think it's pretty good. But look at this pretty dusty blue. Ooh, I love it. Because I don't have enough to do, I'm also trying to decide on some new merch. <laughs> so, you know, I put out the Keeper of the Home sweatshirts. They're amazing. I love them. They're great for all weather. But so many of you requested t-shirts and when I get enough requests, I just can't get it out of my head. So let's do some Keeper of the Home t-shirts. So what I did is I ordered like a ton. This is probably half of what I ordered, but I, what I've narrowed down but different t-shirt companies and styles to try on and pick through because I want to find us the perfect t-shirt. And I have some that I think are really going to work, but I want to know what you guys think um, makes the perfect t-shirt. Some things that I'm looking for, I want it to be flattering on a mom bod. <laughs> which luckily I have, so I can try this on and vet it for us. But for me, that means not too flowy or too thin of a t-shirt. Not too thick, but definitely not too thin. A lot of the super soft tees these days are just really thin and they don't look super flattering on. I also like a drop shoulder rather than a shoulder that's like poking out at the shoulder. Um, I like it to drop the seam a little bit. I feel like that is a little more flattering. So those are some things I'm looking for. A nice solid neckline that won't stretch. Definitely needs to wash good. I want several color options. Anyway, will you guys let me know what you think makes the perfect t-shirt? And I will try to find it for us and put, put all my Keeper of the Home logos on it. I think it's gonna be so cute and so nice. So give me your input. I'm really excited about this.